You're watching a video produced from Sandridge Energy Studios at Opubco. Rock singer Basile Kuliopoulos, who fronted the fortune tellers, died Monday from cancer. He was 59. Oklahoma's Robert Medler reports Kuliopoulos made Oklahoma City his home base for his rhythm and blues influenced rock sound. His bands opened for the police, the cramps, the blasters, and other major acts in Oklahoma City. The fortune tellers included bass player Victor Getz and drummer Michael Newberry and toured nationwide. The fortune tellers had a guitar heavy and raunchy style of blues that exploded in the 1980s. In the 1990s, Basile's The Reverb Brothers took hold in Oklahoma City bars. You know, we, if you go back, probably late 50s, there's always been live music. And people have, I mean, 20s, 30s, I mean, back to Bach Beethoven. But as far as kind of Oklahoma City and the Oklahoma City sound and, you know, kind of taking off of the punk movement, early, you know, in 79 was, you know, when Basile and the Fortune Tellers started, or the Fensics first, but you know, Fortune Tellers started playing. And, you know, and it's evolved. And here, you know, we're looking at a nearly almost almost a 25 year legacy uh, you know of great great live music um, you know I mean he touched so many souls Basile and I would talk about Reaver Brothers show and laugh and say you know we need to do one with every single Reaver brother and the, and the big joke was it would fill the room because he's touched that many musicians you know he's uh, you know he's really been a part of all of us in Western and, and BZDs and I mean that's pretty much it he is music I mean that's I, I kind of said on, on that day that when he passed, it was the day the reverb died. I, you know, I go back to the music days of the Bowery, back to 1982 and, and before that, and uh, they were practically the house band at the Bowery, and um, at least once a week they'd be playing there, and I think I still have a tab for Brazil, it's probably three or $4,000. So. Those guys, it, it just seemed that, I mean, every, every year they would change a little bit and, and get a little hard, more hardcore R&B and, and um, it, it was fun to watch the evolution and, and, you know, they were in there every week. If they weren't in there playing, they were in there seeing the other bands and um, it was, no matter how many times they played the same song, it was still a little bit different and still a little bit fun to dance to.